Okay, YouTube, today I'm going to review the Tailored Athlete Bamboo Short Sleeve Shirt. I bought the shirt for $82, less a 15% discount um, for being a first time buyer. I paid $10 for freight, and there were three garments in the box, so you can say about $3 each. Um, I placed the order on a Tuesday evening, got the order uh, via USPS, uh, United States Postal Service. Um, that Friday so really quick turnaround and um, so this is a UK based company but they have a warehouse and shipping here in the United States out of Columbus Ohio the company says that its roots are to fit an athlete and I reviewed their t-shirt which was a really tight fitting I would say uh, one size down type shirt um, so basically I bought an extra large that came in and fit me like a large the site says that it was their fit was developed after measuring a thousand athletes so with that kind of base they should have a good average of what they consider to be an athlete's body and um, although I don't consider myself an athlete I like to group myself in there as uh, being at least fit so hopefully I meet their criteria um, this shirt is called bamboo shirt their fabric content they refer to it as bamboo which we'll get into in a moment um, I don't like that name and just to I'm pretty sure that you cannot declare something as being bamboo when you bring it into the United States as part of your fiber content bamboo is really just rayon um, the process to make bamboo into um, a fiber is basically you squeeze the bamboo to just get the pulp or you squeeze and crush it and you get the pulp out which that could be bamboo it could be beech trees it could be there's a lot of different types of grasses um, that they use the same process they're completely unidentifiable one from the other they're all exactly the same the process removes any types of properties that bamboo would have from the final product which is going to be rayon so um, to say bamboo it's a little bit misleading it's nice to know that the fact the fiber comes from bamboo and that's a sustainable crop um, that uses very little water but ultimately they should be telling us this is rayon because that's what it is um, the description on the website actually says bamboo cotton and uh, I that's not an official fiber that I'm aware of there is no such thing as bamboo cotton um, you know or, or the original name of like the polyester was to be like a pseudo cotton but um, anyways let's get into it the packaging is very nice it's got a logo on it it's a ziploc bag it has a um, plastic bag warning on the back that it's not a toy and um, we just pull apart and it opens nicely um, there we go we got the nice uh, collar protector and collar stand there so that keeps our collar from actually getting crushed uh, while during shipping when they receive this from their manufacturer overseas um, it's a very lightweight shirt with a, a logo on it so I think best we'll switch over to the overhead cam we'll open this up and we'll take a look at it a little bit closer together so stick around should be a good one okay so here we are this is how the packaging came in um, there was this um, piece here in the neck uh, and um, so I just took that out um, there is no other oh there is cardboard co collar protector here too um, and that's just keeping our sh collar shape and keeping that from crushing during shipping okay um, we do have a hang tag here wrapped around the button let's see tailored athlete design clothing to complement your physique we combine a true muscle fit and technically advanced fabrics to maximize performance and comfort welcome to the team and there you go tailored athlete all right, so let's open it up and see what we got here. Um, take these plastic clips off. Get the cardboard out. Also had that here. Here's our fiber content and care instructions. So 65% polyester, 30% bamboo, 5% spandex. Um, you already heard my rant 
a little bit about saying bamboo that's not a fiber um, it's rayon um, the care code is just strictly in the symbolic form I don't know if you could pick up on that uh, 40 degree water temperature so that must be Celsius um, no bleach uh, it has dry low and low iron as well so polyrayon synthetic setting and uh, you should be okay both on your iron and your dryer All right you have top stitch shoulders top stitch armhole opening regular front placket here um, as well here and um, this is a filled seam construction on the side seam um, so it's nice and clean on the inside uh, you have two darts here so this is going to add shape to your waist the purpose of these darts and that's going to give us that slimming look or um, tapered look let's see what our chest is give us an idea if this is going to be uh, like the t-shirt a little tight or if they're going to allow it just to be tapered and a little bit loose. there you go so we almost have a 46 inch chest here so that to me is a true extra large and this should fit like one the tapered waist so we're down to 42 which is nice and then here the sweep which should be big again and uh, 45 so here we just have a nice slimming look um, but this is going to fit like a true extra large and um, my guess is going to be that the armhole openings are going to be tight here yeah so 15 and a half on the armhole opening so this is going to be basically what they gave you is snug around the arms <clears throat> a tapered look uh, broad shoulders and uh, this is to me is a lot closer to what I expected um, we got shoulder to point to point here 40 so anyways let's try it on see what it looks like and um, we can judge from there but I think this one is going to be more along what I was expecting okay so this is what the shirt looks like on um, a couple things I did notice, you got the same size button on the collar that you do down the front. Normally we would go with maybe a little bit smaller button on the collar, make it a, a little bit less, uh, gem, you know, take up the, because they do take up quite a bit of um, space on that collar point, make them real obvious. Um, but overall I think a very nice fit. Um, like I had mentioned, it's going to be a little tight around the arm. Um, and I think that's part of the design. Um, we do have that tapering coming in around the waist, so I don't have a lot of loose fabric, which uh, normally for me, uh, if I were to wear uh, an extra large men's shirt, you would just see a whole lot of fabric here. And when you, know, you try and tuck it in um, into your pants, it would just be like, no, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Uh, there would be so much fabric there. And um, so this is a very nice fit for me. Uh, you decide what you think. Um, open collar point, which is kind of like the a modern update design right now. And um, overall, very nice shirt, lightweight. Uh, have to try it out and wear it for a day. For me, I tend to wear my shirts open, so I'm going to want to fold, get this to break and fold open a little bit. Maybe uh, not button down the collar would help. Um, but overall, um, I think it's okay. You got this one last button here, which is a buttonhole going horizontal, which is um, typically how you end the bottom of a shirt. So, Experience Shirt Factory made this shirt. So, anyways, if you like the video, thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel. You all know the drill. Continue to dress smart, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.